It's September 15th. We've got some stuff to do. I want to take what honey we have off the hive, put the feeder on, and I'm going to put some medicine in. It's going to hopefully get rid of the mites that we got. Because uh, Brad McClinsky, the Franklin County Bee Inspector, came out a few days ago and t showed me that we have a bit of a Varroa mite problem. So, here we go. Okay, so we put some smoke in the hive. I got the top off. And... Action! We think there's about a gallon of honey inside this top uh, hive box, or honey super. And so we're going to take it completely off, set it to the side. Then I'm going to take off the third box so I can put some um, stuff called hot guard into the second box that's supposed to kill the mites that we got. Uh, once that's done, I'll put the third box back on and our hive top feeder, feed them some sugar. Hopefully they'll build out the rest of any comb that they have room to build and then store the sugar to help them get through the winter. Okay, so I've taken off uh, the, the honey super and I'm getting ready to take off the third box. This is the hop guard that I got from Barry Conrad in Canal Winchester. Once we get the third box off, we're going to put uh, both these strips into the second box uh, where the brood is. Hopefully the formula, hops, whatever this is on, the, on these strips will kill the mites. And what's good about this, according to Barry, is the bees will eventually break this down and carry it out. So it's not like some of the other medicines that are on um, plastic strips that you have to get back in and take out. You put this in, you put your feeder on, and you're done in the fall. Um, or any time, I guess. Standing where I was. Can I eat this honey that's on top? Yeah, we'll eat, we'll eat some of that later. Let's okay, I've got the third box off. I've just got my two um, bottom medium hive bodies. And I'm going to put these hop guard strips into the hive now. There's a real distinctive odor to them. It's almost, it's not, it's, uh, not sweet. It's, uh, how would you say it is, Sam? It's almost uh, like astringent. Uh, yeah, astringent. Sour, I guess they like almost. day old beer, kind of hoppy, sour. So um, you separate the strip like this, and I'm going to lay it in here, kind of in the middle. We're thinking brood is probably right close to where these strips are going to be. One here, one here. Now apparently this hop guard just got approved for use in Ohio last year and um, Barry Conrad's been selling it to people and it's gotten good reviews. They've said that it's working on killing off the mites in the beehive. I'm wearing this glove because apparently the product will stain your skin and will not. So I want to take a few of these frames out of the third box just to see how they're doing. I haven't looked um, at their progress for a while. This first frame I took out um, has got the star as a comb but no real uh, comb on the foundation. So here's frame number two in our third box and it's on its way but not completely filled out. Actually, in the top corner here, you can see where they have made some honey and capped it. And there is, as far as I can tell, no brood, no eggs in any of these cells. So I'd imagine that they are going to fill this with honey in preparation for their winter. You got honey for me.
Here's frame number three in the third box. Does it have pony? Um, so this one's pulled fairly nice, and yeah, it's got the starting of honey up here in this same corner as the other one. Is the white the honey? Now on this other side of it, it's got some brood. You can see there's some cells capped there in the middle, and I believe that is uh, cells with baby bees growing in it. I want to eat the honeycomb. I'll take out a few more of these frames just to see how they're doing. Now this one definitely has brood in the middle there. You can see the darker cappings are um, absolutely positively baby bees. Oh, there's a baby bee being born right now. Right here. You see the cell that's open with a little bit of movement under there? I want to see. Point to it. Right here. Daddy. It's right here. You can see the bee underneath underneath there trying to get out. That is a new girl worker bee. So this is a male bee, a, a pupa of a male bee. I just opened up its cell and killed it. You can see there are one, two, three, four, at least four, five Varroa mites on it. That's the brown yeah, spots. That's mm -hmm. what we do not want and why we put those strips in there to kill it. Hold, hold it. Alright, we got it. Okay, so we inspected this third box as best we could. We didn't find the queen. Um, we found what I think is evidence of a healthy queen. A lot of cat brood, a lot of what seems to be healthy larvae. Of course, we found the drone cell with a bunch of mites on it. Hopefully that hop guard will take care of it. I'm going to put this hive top feeder on. Um, we're going to fill it with sugar water later, and hopefully they will build out any comb, any space they have to build comb they'll do that and then they'll take all the sugar water we're going to keep feeding them and pack that comb full of um, sugar to help them make it through the winter it's the queen right there isn't yeah, it she's going up so, it's, uh, but she's probably not going to i mean i'm hoping she's not playing away if she does then we have to get a new queen or they will sometime make a new one So you need to get, get her back into the hive, huh? She's on that side still? She's the other side. On the other side. Queen was on the other side. Alright, so this is the box that we want to remove. And I was checking it to make sure the... Well, I was checking it for the queen. And sure enough, she is on this frame. So we almost had a disaster. <laughs> yeah. um, thank goodness we found her. There she is. She's big and has a bright yellow dot on her thorax. There she is. And this is an amateur mistake. I mean, it's totally a rookie amateur mistake. You know, I um, probably put this fourth super on too soon. And um, she obviously was up in it. So... We will get her back into the hive. And I see her now. She's definitely in there. I'm going to pick up this frame without being stung. Try so hard to put it back in without disturbing her any more than we did.
So I, I don't feel good at all about what just happened. Um, I hope that we are okay. And like I said, hopefully she's back in. Thank goodness we uh, realized she wasn't in there before we did anything with that top box. I'll definitely need some feedback from the Ohio Country Boy about um, how to avoid this mistake next time. Are you sure this is a good idea? Trust me. <laughs> so, we, I think we averted a catastrophe. We found the queen in this fourth honey super. Uh, I've got her back in. I hope she's okay. I think she is. I'm going to have to check back in a, you know, maybe three or four weeks. Um, I really, really don't feel good about uh, what happened, but that's what happens when you're learning. So, um, there's still a lot of bees in this fourth super. We know they're not a queen. Um, the Ohio Country Boys said you can use a leaf blower to blow the bees out of your honey super. That's what I'm going to do. I'm guessing you should direct the leaf blower in the direction of their hive so the ones that get blown out at least have a little bit of an idea how to get back home. Um, luckily, the leaf blower I have, Toro Ultra Blower Vac, has variable speed. So I'm going to use the lowest speed and uh, see how we do. How, how many horsepower is that uh, blower? Hopefully, not more than the bees can handle. It does have a metal impeller, though. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> That's low. All right, it looks like most of them got blown out. I think uh, the majority of them did. It'll give us some room to shake the rest of them off. All right, so the hive's all back together. We'll put some sugar water in the feeder here in a minute. Thank you for watching. If I did anything wrong, stupid, you have any suggestions, advice, please tell me. It's my first year having a beehive, and I've learned a lot, but i got to learn more. So um, don't hold back. Tell me what I did good. Tell me what I did wrong. And um, I'll have another video soon. Thanks. Did that barehanded? Barehanded. It's kind of like Turtle Man. Playing crazy. It's a live action. <laughs>